here is my fiance. <laughs> I dressed up, but we stayed home because he worked. So I really just did this for the video. If you can see my inspiration, my inspiration was like one of those like alien, like these kinds of aliens. Yeah, that was like my inspiration was like one of those like maximalist like aliens, but I just came out looking like Doja Cat from that one other video. <laughs> I like both. I like both inspirations. Okay, I'm getting hot. So I'm going to take this off. I kind of put my hair back so you are able to see the collar because I spent time on her, okay? Oh wait, just my chest is pink now. <laughs> Fantasy is over. This is our Halloween special, okay? Babe, you haven't said a word. <laughs> Babe, our future children and children's children will be watching. Also, I made a bowl of mac and cheese, so that's what we're going to be eating off of. We're going to do a little bit of Halloween Q&A with my fiance eating mac and cheese, okay? <laughs> what horror movie would you survive in? Now let's think about this. There's some this cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> what movie horror movie I would survive in? I thought about this. The cat and hat. You're going to tell me if the cat and hat's not a horror movie. A big six, seven foot tall cat running around town, stealing kids, hiding in their closets under their bed. Or the mom's boyfriend. No, that cat and hat was a demon. But I'd survive that. What about you, babe? And you know what? I think you'd survive Saw. I was thinking Saw, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to say it because I don't want to cut off my hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you would survive Saw because you're likable and you're like, whatever you did wrong is not as bad as whatever the people are there for. I'd be one of the people that they're trying to save. You'd be one of the survivors, but not like how Katie or Kimberly being his little like minion. Like you wouldn't be a minion. You'd survive and get out of it and you would like just never talk about it again. Like, oh, don't talk about that. You know, <laughs> something would trigger you. Like that's so random. Like you wouldn't have an arm and like a clock would trigger you or something. You'd... Hold on really quick. <laughs> Pete the like. The jewels, okay? Beat the jewels. Yes, I'm an alien. I came down to Earth to steal some Earth man. <laughs> You're my Earth man. This is just a definition in our relationship of me being extra and him going along with it. And he's tired from work, so thank you for doing this work with me. Next question. What horror movie would you not survive and how? Probably Jeepers Creepers. You think you wouldn't survive it? You How can he, you survive? You think he'd not come after you? Yeah, that's right. You do have like really good body parts. Um, <laughs> on a Halloween level, okay? Okay, uh, Jeepers Creepers, you would not survive in. So you'd be like the guy in the beginning where you're like in the like potato sack. You know? I think I would not survive. Oh wait, no, let's go back. The movie, the horror movie that I would survive in is Annabelle. That's my real answer. If I saw a demon doll, there are parts where I got like jump scare everything. Don't even talk about it. Worst comes to worst, what is this little demon doll gonna do when I take her in public and I throw her in the ocean? <laughs> it's Jumanji. She's gonna arrive on another island. It's gonna be chaos for someone else. Like, that's all you had to do. Throw her, drive a very long drive. Whip her out the window, you're dead. Annabelle? Mm -mm. <laughs> But yeah, that movie goes hard. That movie is so good. Not like the new one. Dumb. The what's scary about it? That's what I'm saying. That's why I would survive it because like it's a doll. The pastor like looking in the mirror and like the whole background story creepy. But then when you realize it's still humans background story, like it's not as scary. Did you hear that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. oh, even Linda's chasing it. Stop, no, 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 shut up. Okay. Mm. Horror movie that I wouldn't survive in? You answer this for me, because I don't know. What movie do you see mean, like, just like, I'm not running? <laughs> Any horror movie that has running? I'm not surviving. Sorry, I'm not gonna run away from you. For me, it's any running movie or any zombie movie. I couldn't. Everyone's always like... Oh, but you say you can. I, I know. I'm just gonna <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Exposed. Sharknado. That's not why I want Sharknado. I'm still traumatized from that one night. <laughs> why are you <laughs> I don't want this face. I'm a little... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Real talk. <laughs> Nobody gets this anxiety from rain. Why am I blue? I'm like rethinking all my life choices right now. I don't want this. Okay, we're taking an exit. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just uh, got off the highway. The highway was so scary. The rain was pouring. The old men were snoring. The highway was so wet. I felt like. I was in Sharknado. If you have never seen the movies, don't waste your time. It's literally like one 
Pebble Stone away of like a parody movie. It's so bad. <laughs> the movies are so bad. The CGI is so bad. But Sharknado, if you ever seen it, Whoa. Shark a whole ass oh. just go try to take our truck right now. If you've never seen Sharknado, sharks fall from the sky. Yes, it really happened. Um, look it up. <laughs> I literally thought sharks were gonna fall from the sky. I tried putting the sun visor down and I got scared because like I won't see it coming, you know? I oh. <laughs> you were actually scared of I was like, I'm a little, I'm a little ass. Do you remember? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Think of the movie that you would not survive in. I think this has some Jeepers Creepers. Mm. Yeah, because Jeepers Creepers is all about like scent and um, like I love the smell. So if I like it, like I know a <laughs> killer who is like based on hunting through scent, like, oh, this is your man. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so loud. laughs> What's your go to Halloween candy? Candy corn. Candy corn? What the heck? Well, so I, I always <laughs> like it, but I never get it. <laughs> You're so old. I just know I like it. I would say that's their cutest Halloween candy, but that's not like that's your go to. Like, you're gonna you have I like a bowl. eating the layers like one and then the other one. So old. <laughs> you're the old lady with the um, strawberry candy in her purse. <laughs> My candy. I'm just kidding. Caramels. Caramel corn is so good. No. But those caramels are like old people candy. Oh. Oh, you keep throwing shade back. Okay. For go-to Halloween candy, it's definitely Almond Joy with the almond in it. The f*** is a mound. <laughs> What's a mound? Like, what is that? Almond Joy with the almond in it. Anytime I get that or I've gotten it before trick-or-treating, I'm just like, no. And I'll, I'll eat around the almond first, and then I'll eat the piece with the almond. Um, Do you leave chocolate on it? No, I eat the only <laughs> Now, what's the worst Halloween candy? I answered that already. Mound. <laughs> What's the worst Halloween candy? Like, if you got in your trick or treat bag, you just chuck it. What do they even give? They gave, like, like fun size m and If you're gonna give me an m and with no peanut in it, I'm realizing I like a lot of chocolate with nuts in it. The brown little fun size bag of m ms with no peanuts in it. This isn't Skittles, but you don't offer me nothing. Except they're really cute and they're alive sometimes. Come I would on. say dots, but I actually like them. Dots? <laughs> <laughs> your, your answers are so old, dots. <laughs> Okay, moving on. <laughs> Next one is, what's your favorite horror or Halloween theme song? The first and only one that comes to my mind is, <laughs> I love that. I use it for my videos. What about you? Um, the Ghostbusters song is cool. <laughs> we just hate it. Strange. You like the Who You Gonna Calls, because he likes live PD. Like, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Who you gonna call when the bus is complete? How it goes. <laughs> I like um, anything that's like that moment of realization or like that moment of suspense. So it's that one where it's like the wee, wee, wee. or the Kilbo one where it's like. Wee. Wee. <laughs> you like alien sounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, name something you don't want to run into in a dark forest or abandoned building. Okay, I have so many. Something you don't want to run into. A white face. A white face. Like pale, stark white face. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's like scary. Okay, that, but if it's smiling. I have something against things that smile at me. If I'm watching a horror movie and it's not smiling, I don't know, I'm not phased at all. The <laughs> second it starts smiling, the nun. Oh no, I can't do that. The nun is what I was, I, like, that cemented my whole fear for, like, demon that finds in, like, enjoyment in it. Like, that's the most, like, insane thing to me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to run into in a dark forest a white face? Is it the face talking, making any noises, or like if you just saw in the corner of your eye? I just saw a white face. That's crazy. That's scary. For me, it's like that, but that's just me like jumping off your idea. My own personal thing would be like, I would hate to run into like a hobo. Like, I don't know. <laughs> can I say that? A deranged? Yeah, like a deranged person. Like, I would it's, hate. It's an insane asylum escapee? Yes. If we're in a building, I would hate to run into someone who's been living there willingly. <laughs> it's like, I never left when everyone else did. Like, I'm waiting for the day one of those YouTubers who explore those abandoned buildings curve a corner and there's just an old little person right there. Like, <laughs> Come play with us. I think a bigger threat to me is not something spiritual. It's like here on earth, like people. Like if I run into someone, I want to be alone or I'm alone in the forest. The last thing I want to see is another human being there in the most like scary Halloween-y way. Not like I'm a, you know, but yeah, I'm a 
So next thing is your favorite horror monster character. One of my favorite first ones growing up was the leprechaun. He's go. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny. He's so crusty and ugly. Like anything little, like Chucky, leprechaun, like they're so funny. I know I was like, but this is why I would survive Annabelle. But the leprechaun has to be like one of my favorite visually because it's just like a tiny little man in a green suit, like laughing and running around, biting people's ears off. Okay, what's your favorite horror character? Michael Myers. He doesn't talk to me. He has like no. No expression. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you want him to talk? You want to talk? No, to just because he doesn't. You just like, he, he's, he's he gets menacing. in, he gets out. Huh? <laughs> he goes to kill, doesn't you find enjoyment in it, gets out. That's you, huh? <laughs> Scary movie weapon of choice. I know you're going to like this one. A saw. A saw? A saw blade. Why? Mm -hmm. It's like, it spins, but not the chainsaw. Oh, okay. Not like a chainsaw. You mean the circle like, one, the little like circle the ones one. I have. Okay. For my tools. But like, there's only so much impact before. Like, you can only do so much damage with that. A chainsaw will go like through. You have that like bumper. <laughs> so? Oh, okay. I was just saying. And you can still like just cut, and slash. Okay, you're just saving yourself. You're not the killer. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> At least I interpreted that question like you're defending yourself. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I just breathe in this weird Halloween wig. It's in my throat. Did you see that come out of my mouth? No. <laughs> it went, it was like, <laughs> scary movie weapon of choice. Okay, so if you were the killer, we know which one, which weapon you'd use. What about if you were defending yourself? You were like running from the killer. Oh, that's what the question was? Yeah. <laughs> a big old gun. A gun? Yeah. But like, they run out. Scary movie logic. You gotta think about scary movie logic. I have infinite. It's a movie. This is the gun he's talking about. <laughs> if, it, if I'm like defending myself in like a scary running chasing scene, <sighs> I'd be that annoying girl, like, <sighs> like just have like, <laughs> I'd have the craziest scream in the movie. Don't get me. <laughs> like just like whatever, and like just scream up until they catch me. And I would definitely just be a screamer, and I hate that I know that about myself, but I do. I'm self aware. But yeah, I would be. <laughs> What's your weapon of choice? My my your my scream. My scream. <laughs> I would do like um I would do like a crazy scream where like Jason's like running after me and I'm like ah, and then he just stops and he's like, oh, like, oh. like he gets those like what does he get like he gets like all those flashbacks of his mom and he's just like oh. like I would like trigger the monster from running after me <laughs> okay I'm just kidding this is like the kitchen knife like I'm giving Sydney from Scream <laughs> Sydney from Scream that's me okay. what shut up what are you wearing and then she like grabs the knife you know if I had had to choose a knife it'd be the chucky one that has like the red on it oh man i'll it's right here i'll pop it up in the screen but i don't know what you're talking about so i'll find out now i have some puns for you okay well i wrote some down ready i wrote two down what's a ghost's favorite drink ectoplasm ghoul aid <laughs> what's a ghost's favorite fruit you can like this one blueberry <gasps> yes oh it is blueberries <laughs> okay so that was that. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> but I just, okay, I just love this look. I just love this look. Like, look at me. Isn't this crazy what I did? Okay, don't don't look too close. What? I just really love my makeup. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> without the wig, <laughs> without the wig, I'm Avatar. I just took off the wig <laughs> because I wanted you to see what um the forehead looked like. Okay, we're done.